Yeah, so look, the basic difference with an upright and a grand piano is, um, obviously with a grand piano, you do need a little bit more room at home. <laughs> uh, also, the, the actual mechanism on a grand piano, uh, that's the way pianos were designed originally. There was no uprights way back when the piano was first made. So the upright is an adaptation, I guess, houses has got a bit smaller over time. But a grand piano, the hammer comes up and hits the string, and when you release the key, it falls back naturally with gravity. So it's a very quick and uh, efficient sort of mechanism. So generally, the touch is probably a little better on a grand piano on a good one. And also, because it's a larger instrument, there's more volume, uh, longer bass strings, uh, so deeper bass, uh, more dynamics in the instrument. So generally, a grand piano uh, would be a better buy, but not everybody can fit one in or afford one. Uh, so you can get a very good upright as well. Uh, it depends on space, budget, um, but for some people, you know, a grand piano is uh, their lifelong dream and uh, it's a great thing when they get one. We're not selling fridges here, you know, we're selling emotional stuff to people and uh, it's very satisfying sometimes.